Tulsa County Health Department confirms two cases of West Nile virus here in Tulsa County. These are the first cases reported in the county this season. 2 News multimedia journalist Rico Bush joins us now live with why the virus could be on the rise. Rico. Well, Russ and Karen, the health department says a chance of getting the virus is still pretty low, but they're asking all residents to take precautions. They tell us we are still in the months for the highest risk of exposure to West Nile. The summer months are prime time for the mosquito population. We are still seeing a lot of mosquito activity. Last year, Oklahoma reported the highest number of West oh, Nile yeah. cases in a single year, along with more than 10 deaths linked to the virus. This year, Tulsa County health officials say they're taking the spread of the virus more serious. West Nile virus infected mosquitoes are persistent throughout Tulsa County, so anyone living in Tulsa County is at risk for exposure. Crews have set more than 75 mosquito trap sites this season. 22 sites have tested positive, and some more than once, even after crews treated the site. Anyone residing in an area where West Nile virus is present is at risk for exposure. Health experts say the virus spreads through the bite of an infected mosquito. To protect herself, they recommend using insect repellent containing DEET and covering exposed skin. There is no cure for West Nile virus. There is just treatment of the symptoms. Um, most people, about 80% of those who are infected with West Nile virus, will have no symptoms. With recent rains, health officials say areas with standing water could become breeding grounds for mosquitoes and help put a deadly virus on the rise throughout Oklahoma. And, res and health experts say the threat of the virus will remain until that first hard freeze killed the mosquitoes that carry it. New at 6, who officials say got the virus. Reporting live in South Tulsa, I'm Rico Bush. 2 News works for you.